A common request of merchants using Roman cards is that they want to get more details from the from the customer uh, on the checkout page. So uh, if we just take a look at um, uh, if we take a look at the screen in front of us here, we've got just a, uh, this is the ordering page from one of our demo stores, World of Wines. If I add I don't know a bottle of peas porter to the to the basket, select a, a shipping method. Uh, go to the checkout. You'll see that on the checkout, uh, the standard fields are the name and address fields. And in fact, on this checkout here, we've got set up to ask, how did you hear about us? Uh, and you set that up at Tools, Options, Checkouts uh, screen. And there's some other options down here as well, where they want to be uh, added to the emailing list or if they understand your terms and conditions and tick this box to remember your details for next time. Uh, but uh, often merchants want to add extra fields there to get more information from their customers. So let's just see how you do that. On the web control panel, you go to manage extra checkout fields, and that takes you to this screen here. If I click on add new field, we can add a new extra checkout field. And uh, there's various different types of extra checkout fields you can add. First, let's just put the name in. For this, let's do, I don't know, special delivery, special delivery instructions. And uh, there's various different types of uh, uh, fields you can select there text, text area, checkbox, radio buttons, combo, list box, and date pick. I'll just very quickly tell you what these are. So text, this is like a text box here. Uh, this is a, in fact, what's that? That's a text area box there. Um, we've got uh, checkbox. These are checkboxes here. Uh, radio buttons, this is a radio buttons here. A combo box, that's like we have a drop down uh, box. A list box. That's uh, that's where you have a load of different items uh, where you can scroll up and down them. Uh, and date picker, that's obviously where you can select a date. So for this, let's do I know, text area, special delivery instructions. Let's have three rows that they can enter in. Uh, so you, uh, if it's a mandatory field, you can make it mandatory by ticking that box there. And you need to put in a mandatory message as well. Say, for example, um, you know, if they basically have to complete the field to continue, then mandatory message you might put, please enter any special delivery instructions. Um, you, unlikely you do it for this field. But uh, so other options, you can include this field on the confirmation email. And you can put default text as well uh, in the fields. Uh, if it's a text or a date field, uh, and there's some options regarding checkboxes defaulting to on and the first radio button is selected as default. Uh, here you can specify that this extra checkout field should only appear if there's an item name with um, the following word or words uh, in it that's in the cart. So in other words, you can make it so that uh, they only appear if there's certain items in the cart. Uh, and then down here, you enter the values for the radio button, uh, the combo uh, box that you're using, or the list box if you select those. So we're just going to have this really simple special delivery instructions. We have the, uh, the text area there. If I click on Save, and then this refreshes and you can see this shows the list down here of, of what extra checkout fields you've got set up. We've got special delivery instructions, it's a text area, uh, it's not mandatory, you can edit it. Uh, if there was more than one here you could change the order by clicking on the arrow uh, and you can delete extra checkout fields there using the trash can icon. Uh, if I switch back to uh, our checkout page there and if I refresh it, uh, you'll see that the, uh, the field has appeared. It's in the other information section down here, uh, special delivery instructions and uh, your customer could enter those details there on the checkout page.